All right, everyone. You look over there. Day surgery patients. I'm doing it. Going in. You can see where they went in. The incisions. They're doing pretty good, honestly. And it was kind of a crazy experience. Uh, didn't feel a thing. Thank you, anesthesia. But uh, yeah, so far almost a day after surgery and it hasn't been that bad. Um, to taking my medicine, that's probably helping. Um, now it's just like a little bit achy, but the nerve block wore off so I can like move my fingers and uh, officially recovering now, which is very cool to say. <laughs> All right, guys. It's actually a pretty big milestone today. It's four days after surgery. I took a shower, I put a shirt on, and uh, I'm going to the gym now to just uh, walk on the treadmill or maybe even just sit in the recumbent bike, just get the legs moving. Nothing crazy at all. Just uh, wanna get some more blood flow. And uh, the fact that uh, I am functioning like a human to a certain degree over the last, uh, over the last four days is very reassuring. Uh, I haven't had any real pain, to be honest. It's been pretty remarkable. Uh, the one thing I will say is the pain medication I did take for the first day and a half, and then I got off as soon as I felt like I could. Um, I've been using some more natural uh, remedies that actually have been working pretty good. I have virtually no pain. I mean, if I move in a weird position, um, I might feel a little twinge and I can definitely feel the stitches in my, uh, in my arm. But other than that, uh, it's been really smooth, really smooth how um, everything's been going. I can get a little claustrophobic with the sling a little bit, um, especially sleeping. Sometimes I have like this uh, bed wedge that I'm using right now um, that keeps me on about a 45 degree angle that's taken a little bit to get used to, but I'm actually sleeping pretty decent. Um, just gotta get in a good position, find it, and uh, just uh, focus on the breathing. But this isn't, hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been that bad. Um, I couldn't have done it without my girlfriend, Ratana. She's, she's taking care of me better than I, I could ever ask for, um, as well as my dad. So for anybody who would ever get the surgery, you need to have uh, a good support system because you can't, you can't really do all that much by yourself, uh, like twisting things, filling up um, certain things, cooking. So the fact that uh, I'm getting help with those things is, is all great. So just really been trying to dial in the diet so far, a lot of protein, a lot of collagen. I've been doing like this natural, this, uh, this jello, um, a lot of bone broth, um, eggs, things along those lines, just focusing on the building blocks, not anything too sugary. I uh, have this red light here that I try to do that uh, there's some good science that says that this is beneficial for cellular regeneration and inflammation. So doing that, I mean, it's not gonna be a massive difference, but I'm just trying to do whatever I can to speed up the recovery. So. This is four days, uh, just kind of going by milestones. The first, the next milestone is the week mark where I can take off the, the bandages for the incisions that they made. Um, and then the big milestone is the post ops where he's going to probably assess my shoulder, probably do some physical therapy on it. Um, once I can start going to physical therapy, that's, uh, that's when I'm gonna be really excited. So uh, yeah. Uh, big big day today, and uh, you gotta take the the little wins as progress in this the situation. But I'm honestly very pleased with how it's going so far. And um, like my surgeon said, he said it went well. Uh, so when I get that post op, then he'll he's gonna tell me exactly what they did. So I'll fill you guys in on that. So this is gonna be. Uh, over the course of probably a three to four month update. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the progress goes. It is 
nine days in now, and I'm finally going to remove the dressings. This is a, actually a big moment because I've never seen underneath it. But I think they're ready to come out. Oh my gosh. This is so interesting. See where they went. Wow, okay, they made two incisions. I didn't know that they made two. I thought they only four. Wow. Thank good. That's off finally. Wow, that feels different. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are squeamish or not, so luckily I didn't break out. These strips are supposed to stay in when they sh when I shower, but I gotta pat them dry. It's crazy, my arm has already lost so much definition compared to my left. I'm looking in the mirror, and uh, yeah, interesting. Can't wait for the appointment on Wednesday. Can't come soon enough. I just felt like doing a little update to talk a little bit about discs and such. If you look here, that's my MVP stash. And obviously, by the time this video comes out, the cat will be out of the bag, but uh, just to talk a little bit about it when I'm going through it is uh, having this shoulder not working is really a bummer for not practicing with the new discs. I really want to get out there. I got to throw some of the discs before the surgery, but uh, I just want to, I just want to get back out there and throw all these new discs because they're, they're so much fun. Um, Ratan and my dad have been messing around with them, telling me how they are, but uh, that's one of the reasons why I want to start throwing again, even left-handed. Like right now, I can't even throw left-handed because the sling is in the way and I don't want to tweak anything. So it's probably not until late December, maybe maybe a little bit before when I can start throwing left-handed, but also, also throwing left-handed can affect the right shoulder because of that twisting and violent motion. So I just, just want to throw the discs, man. Just want to throw the discs. Um, but yeah, trying to keep it as much of a secret right now. Only a few people know. Um, but secrets, secrets are always tough to keep. Uh, I have some friends just message me. They think I went to Innova. They think I'm staying with Dysmania. So it's, uh, I'm just trying to uh, keep it as quiet as possible. Hopefully no one finds out. But obviously when this comes out. Everyone will know. Losing followers, you keep posting about Kendama. <laughs> All right, we're now at the three week mark. Uh, it's been a week since my post-op appointment. I forgot to give an update, so I'll give you a brief update of that. Um, went good, he gave me, uh, he gave me all this stuff, which is, uh, some images of what he did and what he did inside my shoulder. So let me give you a little rundown of what he saw in there. All right, so right there, that's the humeral head. And uh, he said, that looked good. This is a small slap fraying. He said, this isn't that bad. Um, everything's pretty much intact, but on the top right, you can see like right there, there was a little bit of a fraying, so we cleaned it up just a little bit. Said the biceps tendon looks good. For those of you who don't know, the labrum uh, ties together with the biceps tendon. So a lot of pitchers who tear their labrum or tear, tear their biceps tendon, that's when they have a lot of issues. So they say, the fact that it's intact, and he says that there's just a tiny little fray, so nothing really to worry about there. This is all rotator cuff. He said um, there was a little bit of fraying on the, the subscap, which is there, but uh, he said nothing really to worry about. Let's go to the next page. So this is what he really treated. Um, he, uh, he went in and right there, that's the, the small labral tear. That's the lax capsule. So this was, this is what I thought was giving me the most issue, um, the instability. Um, 
and it was, but it was not really that crazy of a tear. So he went in there, cleaned that up, same thing there. And this was, this was the interesting thing is that this, see that all that space right there? So on one side is the humeral head and the other side is the labrum. That gap is very lax. So just from throwing over the course of the years, uh, really stretched out my muscles, um, stretched everything out. So he cleaned everything up, tightened it up. Um, so in theory, that should be a lot smaller, that gap. So that'll definitely help with stability now that I've fixed that up. Um, this is uh, him sewing up the labrum. He's kind of taken all that fleshy tissue. This is uh, that slap I was talking about. Cleaned it. I don't really remember, but this is just what I kind of remember him saying. This is just kind of what I remember he said. Let's go to the next page. And these were the last pictures of him putting the sutures in and tying everything up. So he uh, cinched everything together and it's doing its thing, it's healing. And uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was three weeks ago now. Just got done with PT, probably my fourth session and haven't given an update in a while but it's going really good. As you can maybe see, I have a little bit of function with my arm and I just got the okay to drive. I am just shy of six weeks uh, since surgery and it's going really good. I'm in good mood right now because my PT said I'm cleared to drive and things are looking really good for where we're at right now. So it just shows that what I'm doing is working and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited how things are progressing. Just the fact that I can move my arm and uh, have it feel as good as it does right now is uh, very promising and uh, the haters aren't gonna like to hear that one. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> We're at seven weeks now, and I am extremely happy with the progress. Last update was the six week mark, and I was excited then, and I can also say I'm excited now too. Did a good session at the PT today, and they're telling me that we're gonna really start ramping up next week. And I said that I'm healing good, I feel like uh, I'm ahead of the curve right now, which is very reassuring. And uh, you know, I'm out of the sling for the most part. I still sleep with it on, but generally speaking, when I'm out in public, I'm just no sling, I'm walking around, and uh, I'm able to do some stuff around the house or do a lot of stuff really. Uh, I've just been able to start incorporating um, more daily activities like brushing my teeth, eating with my right hand, just things along those lines. So, really excited about that aspect and right here. I mean, that's about my range of motion right there. If you look up here, I mean, still got a ways to go, but coming along nicely because I mean, last week I was, I mean, I think it was two weeks ago, I wasn't even lifting my arm. So the external rotation is not really there yet, but what the PT says is that a tight shoulder is a good shoulder right now and he's gotta be patient. The last thing we're gonna kind of start targeting is that external rotation, um, just because the more externally rotated you are, the more unstable your shoulder becomes. So the whole point of the surgery was to tighten everything back up so it stays in socket. So keeping it tight for right now is a good thing and letting the soft tissue set and heal. So all really good, I would say. Probably not gonna play any sort of disc golf left-handed until the beginning of the year of new and some putting. I actually went out and did a short, short round and that went really well, but I just feel like it's better to take this time and let everything settle, heal, and do other modalities, like go to the sauna, red light therapy. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can with what I got. So all in all, really positive and uh, I'd say the next big improvement is probably gonna be three to four weeks from now. My goal is to be starting to putt by the end of January, but of course, take it slow. Things are going good now. 
Just had my second post-op appointment. He said that everything is looking good. It's coming along. He thinks I'm right where I should be. He said that he started talk talking a little bit how I could maybe even throw. I'm not going to do it, but I like to hear that. So very positive. I asked if I could go see my sport specific trainer and he said uh, pretty soon, probably in the next two to three weeks, going to start ramping up on PT now. I see him again in another six weeks. So I think if I could get to some level of throwing like soft backhands and uh, start ramping up throwing lefty just for my own sake, get to learn the MVP discs. And uh, yes, very excited to see how this is coming along. Uh, not gonna waste this opportunity. I've been doing my PT exercises religiously two times a day every single day um, haven't missed a single session going to the sauna red light therapy and uh, i want to do everything that i can to get back out there as soon as possible or not, let's say this as healthy as possible because i want to achieve a lot of things in this sport and this is only the beginning and uh a lot of haters that i want to prove wrong uh they're so it's always funny because there's not that many haters but they're loud and proud. Let's just say that. All right. I don't know if they're proud, but uh, I want to prove them wrong. And even if the haters don't exist, there's haters in my mind. There's demons. And I want to put those demons to shame. Yes. Rant over. I don't know if it's a rant, though. I'm trying to organize all my thoughts. And you're here for it. I appreciate you guys. All right, everyone, it has been 14 weeks since surgery, and I think I'm gonna end this video here and potentially start a new one because three and a half months, everything is going swimmingly. I'm not swimming, no, not yet. Um, but uh, yeah, I just got back from PT and we measured 170 degrees overhead. It's coming along. You can tell that this arm is still a little bit, this one can get to 180, this one's a little bit behind, but it's coming along beautifully. Throwing the kitchen sink at it, a bunch of different modalities. A place just opened up in Bullock called Portal. I'm doing uh, sauna, cold plunge virtually every single day, red light therapy. PT twice a week, and then I'm doing sessions every single day. So haven't missed a day, been extremely diligent, eating a ton of protein, and uh, yeah, doing whatever I can to get back. And things are going good. I feel like the last few weeks, things have really ramped up. I see the surgeon again on Monday. Uh, so he'll give me assessment. Uh, technically, I have like a five pound Technically, I have a five pound weight bearing restriction, uh, so I haven't really lifted anything more than five pounds, but uh, that's gonna be lifted. So a lot of the stuff that uh, i used to doing, I'm gonna be able to do again. Touching weights, doing all that. So the goal is Champions Cup. I think that's a pretty fair place to say, I don't know if I'll be 100% by then, but who knows, I've been, uh, noticing a lot of quick improvement lately, so we'll see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the first video on Eagle Unlimited. Uh, I think there's some, uh, some good info here, especially if people are thinking about going into surgery and what they might expect. It's been a, it hasn't been too bad, honestly. Like the first month or so was definitely the toughest. Once you get out of the sling, it got a lot easier and you just gotta, you just gotta be excited for the, the small victories. Cause right now I'm starting to be able to put some like 20 footers and uh, just little things. Today's February 1st, I'm gonna start doing uh, Kendama again, which is really big. So I feel like uh, everything's extremely positive right now and I've got a great team helping me out. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to Eagle Unlimited, the second channel where there are no limits. 
I'm stealing Simon's uh, Simon Line branding. Unlimited. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep on dreaming and peace. <laughs>